Well, it's the strict gag order the Church of Scientology certainly doesn't want you to see. Now we can tell you what the Church is willing to do to defend its reputation and just how far it will go to keep its secrets. Never in the history of Scientology have so many moved into the OT band. This is probably the Scientology story of the last 20 years. Of all the adventures on the whole track, none compare to the ultimate prize of spiritual freedom. The individuals here were paid a sum of money in order to keep them silent. Flag is making more Golden Age of Tech OTs than ever before. She and was a true believer. Flag is now producing OT7 completions on an almost daily basis. A front woman for one of the world's most controversial religions. Debbie Cook rose through the ranks to become one of Scientology's most trusted executives, showing off what kind of rewards awaited those who followed its teachings. Personal immortality. But Debbie Cook turned her back on the opulence and tipped a bucket on the religion she'd served for 17 years, accusing it of squirrelling away millions, of turning its back on the teachings of its founder to chase the almighty dollar instead. She was a very caring person. Paul Schofield's a former Scientologist who worked with Debbie in the 1980s. Like her, he was asked to sign a confidentiality agreement about his time with the church. It said by getting back a refund of money, uh, we would never speak ill of Scientology. We would have no further claims on them. Debbie and her husband signed one too. So when she sent an email to 12,000 fellow church members on New Year's Day, the church came out swinging. It's not unusual for employers to demand confidentiality agreements to protect its own reputation and to ensure that no trade secrets are revealed. But the Church of Scientology goes one step further. And now, here for the first time, we can reveal exactly what kind of financial penalties that ex-workers can expect if they dare to speak out about their time with the church. In Debbie Cook's case, the church wants damages of $20 for each and every copy of any newspaper interview she gives, a minimum of $100,000. Speaking to publishers would cost her $250 per book sold, a flat $100,000 damages for any TV interview, $30 a throw for each copy of any video interview, $10 for any audio recordings, and $100,000 for any web posting. I find it extraordinary that a religious order or a religion would ask its members to sign a confidentiality agreement. David Gelbelli QC says the 12-page document goes well beyond the standard contract. The confidential information that's intended to be covered by this agreement is presumably information relating to, an inverted, if I can say in inverted commas, a religion or religious beliefs or the way in which they go about practicing those religious beliefs. Now the Church of Scientology is playing hardball and suing Debbie for what it says is a breach of the conditions under which the hush money was paid. It's a case making international headlines. Scientology is now facing harsh new criticism from one of its own. Some say the church has a great deal more than just its reputation to defend as a result of Debbie Cook's email. It probably means that a lot of people have stopped donating to the church in the amounts they were donating. So what she's done is basically cut the cash flow. Now any business that has its cash flow is going to react and that's pretty much what we're seeing now. The church has launched its legal action in the American state of Florida. Former Scientologists we've spoken to in Australia who've signed the same agreement and therefore can't appear on camera say they'll be watching the result very closely. Late today, the International Church of Scientology told us in a statement the one and only legitimate issue in this case is whether the couple can take all the benefits of an agreement then willfully disregard the obligations they voluntarily promised to abide by in exchange for the benefits they wanted and received. The individuals here were paid a sum of money in order to keep them silent and they accepted that Your sum of money. The question is, what was it paid for? What was their silence paid for? Why can't there be full disclosure? And a full copy of the church's statement can be found on our website.